Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. It is the Moon Moth Goddess. Thank you guys so much for being here. So I am just coming back from vacation in Sedona. Um, my birthday was this past, what was it? I don't even remember. The, the 16th. I don't know if that was Thursday or Friday. <clears throat> it's all a blur. <laughs> so um, I'm just coming back from, from vacation in um, Sedona for just taking a little bit of a uh, rest um, had some really beautiful experiences. I went on a shamanic journey this past weekend, and so I'm still kind of like just processing all of that, and then also the energy that's in Sedona is, is really beautiful. Um, it was also very cold, um, there, so <clears throat> my voice is not the best, um, dealing with like the temperature change between living around, um, Phoenix, Arizona, and then going up into, the cold in Sedona, and I also visited Flagstaff too, which you guys don't know. It's all um, the mountain area, Red Rock area in Sedona. But anyway, we're just going to do a very short reading today, um, and then I'll be back to it as normal tomorrow. But I'm just feeling a need to just kind of do something really uh, not so hard, not so <laughs> not so difficult today, and just kind of relax and, and unpack and all of that stuff. So Today, what we're going to focus on for our pick a card today is just basically getting some advice from spirit on your love life. Um, so whatever, whatever does come through. Now we have three piles today. However, this is a general reading. Okay. So you may pick on, you may choose a pile and it doesn't resonate at all. Or you can, you know, maybe try to see if there's one that fits a little bit better, but because it is a general reading, not every reading that we pick on or that we pick you know, is going to be a message that's meant for us. So if it doesn't resonate today, you know, then there's always next time, or you can check out one of the other readings that I do have. But we're basically going to be doing what uh, messages, advice, guidance, advice from spirit on your love life, okay? Specifically for your love life, whether you're in a relationship, in a third party situation, a situationship, <clears throat> going through divorce, separation, uh, dating someone, has a crush on someone, or even if you're single, okay, even if you're single. So what messages, advice, guidance does uh, Spirit have for you at this time for your love life? <clears throat> so pile number one, this is going to be yours, and I just have oracle cards right now, okay, we're going to be pulling the tarot um, individually for each pile. But pile number one, you are going to be this beautiful little agate, or I'm sorry, yes, this um, agate that I found, um, Druzy agate in uh, Sedona. Okay, so really beautiful. Pile one, that is going to be yours, the little moon. Pile number two, you are going to be this angel aura quartz. Okay, so angel aura quartz for pile number two. Pile number three, you are going to be this titanium um, aura quartz heart, which is really beautiful too. Okay, so on that side, it's like fuchsia and yellow, purpley yellow. And then on this side, it's more of that other kind of greenish yellow and pink color. So that is going to be the little heart for pile three. So we're looking at messages guidance advice from spirit on your love life right now okay so pile one this is yours here with the moon pile two that is yours with the uh angel aura and then pile number three that is going to be yours with the titanium little heart pause the video if you need a little bit more time and i will see you guys at your reading hi pile one so those of you that resonated with this beautiful little druzy moon this is going to be a reading so i do have your oracle um, and we're going to pull some tarot, I think, before. Well, actually, let's take a peek. We'll see what you have. Okay, so we're basically getting whatever advice, guidance the Spirit has for you on your love life at this time. As I said, it is a general reading, so it may not resonate for you at all. And that's perfectly okay. You can choose another pile or you can check out one of the other readings um, that I do have available in the playlist. Or you're more than welcome to check out another reader who may have the message that you need um, today. So let's get advice, guidance from spirit on your love life. We have focused your energy on what you want the most. Okay, so that could either be diverting your attention away from this love situation that you have going on, or it could be that if you're working towards manifesting 
a certain person or situation, you know, on your life. Or let's just say this. Are you focusing on the negative in this relationship or love situation? Or are you focusing on, say, the positive stuff? Okay. So maybe paying attention to where your thoughts are at. Focus your energy on what you want the most, right? Not what you don't want because that's what you're attracting. That's what you're pulling in, right? Is maybe sometimes we think negative stuff about a situation and what do we get? More of the negative, right? So focus your energy on what you want the most, right? Maybe it's love and healing and peace and balance or you want to be heard, you know, just what do you want in that love situation? Okay, not what we don't want, what we want. So you also have the bear. And then you also have a uh, conjurer. And I almost feel like I want to pull one more of these for you guys. And then we're also going to look at your, your tarot. So let me get this deck back out again. And I will have all the decks. I actually picked this one up in Sedona. Okay, so let's get one more. This is the Divine Intervention. Divine Intervention, which is a local Sedona artist. But I'm, I think she does have her website for her decks here. Okay, so Pile 1, Spirit, what messages, advice, guidance does Pile Number 1 need to hear about their love life at this time? What, what advice and guidance would help Pile 1 the most about their love life? Okay. So we have, <clears throat> sorry, you aren't going to like the end results if you keep doing going down this path. Wow. So some of you, this may be a warning. Okay. You aren't going to like the end results if you keep going down this path. So this could even be telling you here, there's something maybe about this person or this situation that you currently have going on right now that may not necessarily be what you really maybe what is for best or for your best and highest good, okay? That can either be symbolic of the situation that you have going on with that person, right? Um, or, like I said, if for those of you that are also single, you know, are you isolating yourself? Are you, you know, is there something that you notice maybe even about your own behaviors, your own blockages when it comes to love or your love life? right that are not leading you to the outcome that you really want okay so take it how it how it resonates but we got that we also have how can you live more luxurious luxuriously each day okay and to me that's all about you being in a you know a, a better energy higher vibrational energy right being open i feel like to uh, more positive change manifestation. We have get ready for extreme wealth and abundance to manifest into your life. Okay. So for somebody that can even be manifesting <clears throat> new love, or it could literally be wealth and abundance. Okay. So let's actually look, um, I'm seeing acceptance at the bottom and it says embrace the changes you are going through. Okay, so maybe you are going through some changes when it does come to whatever your love situation uh, is here. So let's look at the tarot. What is pile number one's guidance, advice about their love life at this time? What guidance and advice do they need to hear most about their current love situation? Okay, so we do have the devil. Okay, we also have the Knight of Cups. The Devil and the Knight of Cups. Let's see. <clears throat> so we do have Capricorn energy here. Also Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Let's get two more. Pile number one's advice, guidance on their love life. Okay, we also have the High Priestess. High Priestess. And we also have the star. Okay. The star. Okay. Now, I'm seeing that we do have 
the I love this card the colors in this the knight of wands okay you have the knight of wands um I actually also got this in Sedona too but I know that they have this deck on Amazon because I saw it before and I got turned away from it because I was like, I have to memorize all of these different little symbols. And, you know, if you know the tarot pretty well then, but when I was first kind of like, just like, what is this? And that's why I didn't buy it. But we have the Knight of Wands here. Okay, Knight of Wands as the overall energy. So this kind of makes me feel like those of you that are actually dealing with someone that you have romantic feelings for, it almost makes me feel like your intuition is telling you that this may be a very toxic situation for some of you, okay? Because with the Knight of Wands as the overall energy, for some of you, it could be that this person is someone who is not really... Uh, there could be some fears of commitment, I feel like, with this person, okay? And it's like, is this person creating some type of an illusion? Or do you feel this very strong attachment towards this person in which... You know, you could be trying to stay optimistic about things, but I feel like with the, the High Priestess energy being here, it's like Spirit saying your intuition is already telling you whether or not this is the best situation for you. And for some of you, it says, sorry, you aren't going to like the end results if you keep going down this path, right? The Devil energy can bring in a lot of toxic or karmic connections with people, you know, um, it could even be a, a codependency attachment um, addictions being involved for some of you with maybe you, the other person. Um, it could be obsessive energy that we that we have towards another person, right? And the Knight of Wands, you know, is more or less going to be someone who's all about the passion, the intimacy, things of that nature. Um, and so for some of you, you know, and I feel like you'll know that intuitively. You know that intuitively. So this message is very, I feel like, very focused for those of you that are in that situation where there are romantic feelings that are here between you and that person, but there is something that is kind of keeping this connection from being able to progress and move forward, okay? So that is one thing, and I feel like that is for those of you that are in that situation where you already know, you already feel, your intuition's already telling you, this is not a good situation, okay? Now, for others of you, I'm also seeing this as fears, doubts that you can also have about opening yourself up to love okay and this may more or less be for those of you that are actually single and you're looking for love or you know maybe even I know some of you could be like in situationships that are not really panning out but you're still open to meeting someone and connecting with someone new right so I feel like I'm also getting this need for boundaries here too boundaries with some of you with a specific person but I feel like yeah letting fears go is going to be a thing with the devil energy learning to let fears go self-limiting beliefs um, because the devil can really keep us kind of stuck or trapped in a place of fear where, where we are not able to progress and move forward and some of you may literally be needing to really focus on healing in your in your love life at this time because it could be that there are still some blockages that are kind of holding you back. And I feel like Spirit is saying here, you know intuitively that this is time for you to fill your own cup, for you to really work on your healing so that it can kind of really help you with the Knight of Wands energy here to kind of restore your passion, your, your, you know, your drive of wanting to really kind of open yourself up. Okay. So I want to see specifically for those of you that are kind of like in this situation. And I feel like, like I said, you already know because your gut feeling is telling you this is not a good situation, but because there could already be attachment that you feel to that person, it's hard for you to let go or hard for you to walk away. Okay. So spirit, tell us a little bit more about this this path that may not be the best for pile. Let's see. What do we have? We have we have the three of cups and then we also have what is this? The emperor. Okay. Now this is going to be specifically be for those of you and I'm just going to say this because it's coming out here. Um, those of you that are in third party situations third party situations is coming through and those of you that are dealing with somebody that's married. 
okay? Specifically for that, that, that is what's coming through. That is what Spirit is saying here. You already know, it says, sorry. You aren't going to like the end result if you keep going down this path, okay? So those of you that are in situations, third-party situations, where the person that you're connected to is already involved with somebody, is already married, or you're kind of got yourself stuck in a love triangle type of situation, okay? Maybe there is intensity, there is passion, there is romantic energy between the two of you, right? And I said like with the star, it's like that you're holding out hope and faith, right? That th something's going to work out. But this is specifically where Spirit is saying here, those of you that are in that type of situation, third party, someone who's married, someone who's already committed to someone else, it's not a good path. Okay, that is Spirit's advice for you, is it's not good. Um, and your gut would already tell you that. Okay, your gut feeling is going to tell you that. Does that situation serve your most highest and your best good? Your intuition already knows. Okay, so that, yeah, that is specifically for those of you that are in that situation. Okay, unless you have this gut feeling and you know that you continuing to kind of try to pursue a person and it's just not working, it's not aligning, then you may know that already too, okay? For those of you that are, like I said, that are single, it could be about you, your, your, your advice being to really trust your intuition, right? Go with what your heart is really telling you. Yes, sometimes with the devil energy, we can be caught up in a lot of fears, a lot of insecurities, a lot of doubts, a lot of worrying, and I feel like with the, the, how can you live more luxuriously each day, even if you are single, right? Even if you are single, this is about you embodying the energy of love, right? Self-love, self-care, you pamper yourself, you take yourself out, you take yourself on a date, you do romantic things for yourself, right? You take yourself out to a nice meal. You cook yourself dinner. You do those loving, romantic things for yourself, right? Versus waiting for someone else to do it for you. Give that to yourself, right? Give that to yourself. Um, and then we also have the energy of conjurer here as well. Okay, what do we have here? We have Pisces, Aquarius. Uh, we have Capricorn. We have Aries. We have Cancer. Okay, Scorpio and Pisces as well. We have the energy of the conjurer here. And to me, the energy of the conjurer is about you also working towards manifesting, right? You're drawing energy in with that and really trying to work towards manifesting. For some of you, manifesting new love um, into your life, right? Could be something that you're doing there. So I feel like it's about you also... I feel like connecting even in with your higher self, okay? Connecting in with your higher self, your intuition, um, setting the intention, I feel like, those of you that are working towards manifesting love into your life. I kind of want to look at why this devil energy is here. Why is the devil here? Have the Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles. What is this? This is the Ace of Wands. Yeah, some of you, I feel like you're dealing with someone where there is a lot of passion and energy. There's a spark. There's chemistry between the two of you. But this person is like not... Uh, not your the progress is really stagnant with this person really stagnant okay let's see what else why is the devil energy here we also have what is this the hermit the hermit okay now, the hermit energy, for some of you, it could literally be that you are someone who chooses that you're afraid of putting yourself out there, okay? Because the hermit is an energy of solitude, being alone. Um, I mean, sometimes it can even be feeling loneliness. It could be that you, you, you're you pushing other people away, right? P 
pushing others away. And it could be because of your own fears, right? Your own doubts with opening your heart up again. But it can also be telling you here to not lose hope, not lose faith in love, especially for those of you that are single. And if you are someone who hides, look at this little flower here. It's kind of like hiding in the little blossom there. But this could be a need for you to really kind of step outside of your comfort zone to really be open to putting yourself out there. Right? Some of you, even with the path that, you know, the Spirit is saying here, the path that is not, that you might not like the results of it. Some of you, it can even be that you're keeping yourself away from meeting and connecting with other people because the Three of Cups can be about a group of people, friends, friends, um, as well. So it's just kind of making me feel here that with you having the Hermit here, those of you, it could literally be that you're dealing with someone who is choosing to isolate themselves, choosing to withdraw from you, choosing to be alone, where yes, there is a spark, there's chemistry there, but they could be someone who's choosing to just be single and non-committal, okay, with that Knight of Wands energy. For others of you, it could, like, if you're single, it could be a need for you to kind of put yourself out there, right, and not isolate yourself so much out of a place of fear, um, could also be a thing. And I'm seeing that we do have the five of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. The five of pentacles is a lack mentality, scarcity. It could either be that we are feeling that we don't have enough. We aren't enough. We're not good enough. Some of you could be, um, needing to heal abandonment wounds. Some of you could be dealing with someone who has an abandonment wound or has a tendency to shut other people out, right? And if they are, that is an issue that they really need to kind of work on within themselves. And maybe for some of you, if you do have an abandonment wound, this is a time for you to really kind of introspect and focus on healing that wound, right? Because maybe it is an abandonment, a fear of abandonment that you might have. And there is a need for you to kind of go within the self to really focus on healing that wound, right? Or like I said, you could be dealing with someone who does have that wound that they need to also heal, right? So if you keep trying to pursue and follow and you know, try to force a situation with someone who does have that abandonment type of, you know, wound that's affecting your connection, it could be making it really difficult for you to, you know, allow this connection to progress or move forward with it because that person may not be ready to do that inner work to be able to heal whatever that wound is, okay? So take that how it resonates. Um, but yeah, I'm feeling here with this energy of the conjurer, it's like spirit is wanting you to really focus on what your higher self, your higher wisdom, what advice would your higher self give you in this situation, right? The best advice, highest good advice that your higher self would give to you about your love life. What advice would you give to a friend, right? About your situation. Would you tell them, Hey, you're crazy. Don't do that. Why are you doing that? You know, just like think about what kind of advice or guidance would you give you think um, a friend. So we're going to see what other message this little uh, bearer has for you about your love life here. So let's look at the bear. Okay. So the bear says, take the time to rest and recharge through relaxation and isolation from others. Okay. Bear is a powerful guide and guardian representing strength in both spirit and in physical form. This animal is a fearless protector. Bear reminds us to set boundaries and to defend them courageously. That's what I was getting earlier when I first saw the bear. Boundaries. It says, be brave and confident. Believe in yourself and your ability to be assertive in the face of adversity. Bears also emphasize the importance of solitude and rest through the act of hibernation. Spend time alone meditating so you can recharge your mind, body, and spirit. This will be a very healing time for you and a deep introspection. Be sure to get enough rest so you can restore your energies to their fullest. In addition, bear fully acknowledges the sweet side of life through the foraging of berries and honey. Find ways to seek out more sweetness and be sure to treat yourself well. Make time for yourself above all else, right? And that's what I was also saying, or this is spirit saying here, how can you live more luxuriously each day, right? How are you loving yourself, right? How are you spending time loving yourself within your love life, okay? So like I said, some of you could either be that you isolate yourself too much or there is this need for you to spend some time alone and introspect, right? Especially for those of you with abandonment wounds that are needing healing or if you are dealing with someone who is, is going through that type of energy, right? Uh, trying to, like I said, 
<clears throat> we cannot try to force someone to do their healing right. They have to do their own work. And you're either prepared to do that or you're not, right? And it can get pretty frustrating, especially because we might have really strong feelings for someone. And we can see that this person does have wounds, right? So if we continue to try to push and push and push, right? It could lead to a lot of frustration, right? A lot of, uh, even with the devil energy here, codependency, unhealthy attachment, obsession, us not being able to kind of break ourselves free from a situation that may not necessarily be working for us, okay? So what else do we see here? We have Virgo energy here. We also have Aries and then Taurus, Virgo, and then we've got Capricorn energy here, okay? So just a quick message for you guys. Like I said, take what resonates. If it doesn't resonate, you can choose another pile, but I'm going to leave it here. Um, for you, pile number one, I hope that this was helpful for you guys, and I will see you in the next reading. Hi, pile two. So those of you that resonated with the little angel aura quartz, uh, we do have some oracle messages for you. We are going to pull some tarot, but let's take a peek at what your advice, guidance is on your love life. Like I said, this is a general reading, so only take what fits, what resonates. If it doesn't really resonate, you can choose another pile, okay? Also, because this is a general reading, you guys are all in very different situ love situations. Some of you single, some of you in situationships, third-party situations, crushes, you know, married, getting divorced, whatever that situation. So take the messages how they apply or how they resonate to you specifically or not at all okay so we have forgiveness will set you free okay so this could be a message for anyone right about something that you guys are holding on to right maybe resentment anger pain heaviness burden right so your advice on your love life is spirit saying here forgiveness is going to be something that helps you to let whatever it is that you're holding on to go Right? You're releasing the burden of it by being able to forgive yourself, forgive another person. Okay? We have the owl. And we also have herd. Okay. So what this is also telling me here with the herd energy, some of you could be feeling a need for really expressing your feelings and your emotions. And you may even kind of feel that either you don't really have anybody to talk to you know, about your feelings and your emotions of whatever love situation you're kind of going through. Some of you, I'm even kind of getting maybe even a little bit of pain or depression, sadness, feeling alone, feeling isolated. Um, there is, I feel like your uh, spirit is sitting here to really kind of um, express the need for expression, talking about, it, especially for those of you that are holding on to something from the past. Okay. Maybe there's something that you're needing to be heard. Maybe your, your feelings, your emotions that you've suppressed or even repressed about your love life. There's a need for expression here. So whether that is you talking to someone, talking to a friend, maybe you even kind of feel like the person that you're dealing with, for those of you that are dealing with someone, that that person is not hearing you. They're not listening to what you're, you're trying to communicate to them, right? And maybe it's kind of leaving you in a place where you feel a little bit sad you feel like you're you're just not they're not seeing you or you're maybe there's something that you want to say to them right for others of you that are single here it could be that there is you know there's something that you're I feel like holding back here holding on to maybe you could be feeling like you want to meet and connect with someone who's going to understand you as a person okay so I do want to pull one more here Pile number two, what is your message of guidance or advice on your love life at this time? What is your advice, your guidance on your love life? It says slow down. Make sure you are not rushing. Okay? So that can be jumping into a relationship. It can be like, let's just say you are dealing with someone right now and you're trying to just hurry up and just hurry up and get into uh, relationship. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, we have stay present and it says, do not be depressed by thoughts of your past or pulled ahead by anxiety into the future. Right? So this is also about you keeping yourself grounded in your love life at this time. Right? Even if you are, let's just say you are dating someone right now that you don't get ahead of yourself. 
right? You start wondering, okay, is this going to lead to this? Is it going to lead to that? Because you're not allowing yourself to enjoy that present moment fully, right? Or others of you that are still kind of, kind of stuck or trapped in things that have happened in the past, right? This is really working through, like I said, these feelings, these emotions that are here, okay? Um, let's look at your tarot now. Pile number two, right? And it's hard not to be depressed, right? Especially for those of you that deal with depression. It says, do not be depressed by thoughts of your past, right? So that is a need to really help work through those feelings and those emotions to honor them, right? To be able to talk to someone. So like I said, for some of you that feel like you don't have someone to talk to, don't be afraid to ask for help. Don't be afraid to go to a professional, right? A therapist, a counselor, a psychiatrist, psychologist. Don't be afraid to get the help that you need, right? Maybe for some of you, this is inner child healing, okay? Okay, so I got a phone call and stopped the recording. So let's see, pile two. What messages of advice and guidance are you needing to hear about your love life? What messages, advice, guidance are you needing to hear about your love life? Okay, so we do have, wow, well, we have the Four of Cups. Okay, Four of Cups energy. So we do have Cancer, but Four of Cups energy is when we're feeling not the most happy with love life right now, okay? So this can either be that you feel bored, you feel like you're not being emotionally fulfilled, maybe if you are in a current situation. Um, the Four of Cups can also talk about rejection, okay? Um, or just not feeling emotionally fulfilled at this time. So whether that is that you are single and you're just kind of feeling very bummed, right? Bummed about love. Um, Sometimes this could be a need for us to really kind of open ourselves up to the opportunities that are surrounding us, right? That Four of Cups energy can make it so that we don't see. We don't see the opportunities that are there, okay? So it can be a need for us to maybe be a little bit more open, more receptive, right? To maybe current influences that are surrounding us. Um, if you are kind of like in a place where you're not happy, right? With your love life. So this can be an important time to kind of make changes as well. Okay. Um, it can also be a need for healing, right? As those of you that are dealing with rejection wounds, feeling shut out by another person, or you're dealing with someone that did, you know, end up rejecting you and you feel that energy of abandonment or loneliness, right? So let's see what else. What is pile number two's advice, guidance on their love life? Okay, so we do have the hanged man, okay? The hanged man is going to be a need for us to change or shift our perspective, okay? Which is the guidance and advice that Spirit has for you right now, is changing your perspective on things. For some of you, it can even be that you've kept yourself kind of like stuck um, in a place of limbo in your love life. And maybe you've been feeling disappointed maybe for a while, right? And maybe that is that need for changing perspective, Okay. Right? This is Spirit saying here, stay present. Do not be depressed by thoughts of your past or pulled ahead by anxiety into the future. Um, we do have the Nine of Swords. That is anxiety. Okay? That is anxiety. That is us feeling discontent. We're not present in the Four of Cups energy. Okay? We're not present. The Nine of Swords is thinking about the future. Worrying about it, stressing about it, right? Some of you could love to say if you're single and you're like constantly worried, like, when am I going to meet someone? When is love going to come in? And then feeling completely bummed, right? Because love life is not going well. Okay. So yeah, the, the hangman is a need for us to change or shift our perspective, whatever that means for you, right? If you are someone who is feeling discontent, what are we doing to change it, right? How can we be... Uh, more open, more receptive to love. Maybe there, there is something that we're needing to change or shift here, okay? 
Pile number two, what is your advice, your guidance on your love life? We have the Ace of Wands, okay? Now, the Ace of Wands is about getting that spark back, right? The Ace of Wands is about potential. It's about chemistry, uh, feeling a spark with someone. It's about us feeling inspired. For some of us, it could be like if you're feeling that you haven't met the right person yet, right? The Ace of Wands could really be kind of getting that fire lit again, <laughs> And then you have the Knight of, or I'm sorry, the King of Cups at the bottom, okay? The King of Cups energy is an energy of compassion and love and care and sensitivity. This can be making sure that you're working towards filling your own cup, right? Really working on healing, working on self-love, keeping yourself open and receptive to unconditional love, okay? It could also be about you really working towards nurturing yourself, Okay, so I do want to see why this Four of Cups energy is here. We do also have Aries, um, Gemini, we've got Pisces, Cancer. Why is the Four of Cups energy here? This is also with the King of Cups energy here to really work towards bringing yourself into a place of emotional maturity emotional balance okay you do have the three of wands energy here too so for some of you it can even be like the anticipation the waiting for love the waiting for someone right it could be leaving you in that place where you're feeling very unhappy right and maybe that is that need to change and shift perspective okay let's see here what is this four of cups energy you know, the page of cups okay so that page of cups could be you you know self-love self-care being even more self-aware right of when you are in that four of cups energy right when you're feeling down when you're feeling sad when you're feeling just not emotionally balanced right maybe it's a time to kind of look within the self to look at how can i nurture myself right how can i show up for myself versus expecting someone else to show up for me how can i show up for myself today from a place of love, from a place of compassion, right? Especially if you are literally dealing with depression, sadness, pain, things that you're holding on to from the past, okay? So let's see here. Why is the hangman here? We have the six of swords. So some of you with the six of swords energy here, this can be a card of transition, a card from moving on from certain thoughts that are keeping you blocked and uh, you know, a need for you to help you to move forward, right? Some of you might feel like your love life is in transition right now, right? This can be a need for us to move ourselves away from certain situations that are not bringing in the best energy for us. Some of you could be giving your whole heart into a connection with someone and the person could be rejecting you. The person could be someone who you're dealing with that's emotionally immature, Right? Um, and this can be a need to really maybe change or shift your perspective. Is this a situation that you have with this person that is currently serving you? Or is your energy better suited for um, something else? Right? So that you are able to kind of move on from something that is not really giving you the emotional fulfillment that you're really looking for. Okay. Okay, we also have the Emperor. Yeah, so to me, the Emperor energy is about you looking at bigger picture perspective. Okay, bigger picture perspective, being able to really take action, to see things clearly, to keep yourself focused, disciplined, grounded, I feel like as well. Okay, it's going to be another thing that's coming through. And I'm also seeing temperance here at the bottom as well. And so with this, it's going to be a need for you to also be patient, right? Especially if you're dealing with someone who is maybe say not quite as emotionally mature as you, right? This is about us learning to find balance within the self, to find balance with another person. But if, if that person is someone who's not willing to put forth the same amount of emotional investment energy into the connection, that you're not afraid of being able to kind of work towards manifesting something new, right? Temperance can also be about you healing and finding balance within the self, really uh, balancing out your own feelings, your own emotions, um, here as well. Okay. So that you are able to kind of experience more emotional happiness, fulfillment, 
uh, within your life. Okay, so I'm going to leave it here for you. Just a quick short reading for you guys today for pile two. I hope this is helpful for you guys and I will see you. Actually, no, we have to actually look at your owl here. I want to see what message your owl is giving before we look at that before we go. Let's see what the owl has as the message guidance advice for your love life. What is it at? forgot about it. Okay, there it is. It says, do not be afraid to look into the dark and peer deeper into the unknown. Truth will be revealed. It says, owl is the embodiment of divine wisdom and higher knowledge. When you need to peer deeper into the unknown, let owl be your guide. Do not be afraid to look into the dark to see deeper truths that are waiting to be revealed. Do not fear the shadows as you discover the true meaning that often lie under the surface. Owl wisdom is here to help you discern the truths that can be often be obscured. Let your inner wisdom and psychic abilities guide you into seeing the true intentions of others when they try to obscure it. You will always know what is right by what you feel deep inside. You have the gift of inner sight and will always be able to discern what is real and what is an illusion. Let your intuition guide and serve you as you tap into the magical magic and truth of life there is much waiting to be discovered okay so that is your wisdom from the owl so i'm going to leave it here for you pile number two i hope this was helpful for you guys and i will see you in the next reading hi pile three so those of you that resonated with the titanium little heart here this is going to be a reading so we're getting some advice and guidance on your love life regardless if you're single in a relationship situationship so take it how it applies to your situation just keep in mind it is a general reading so it may not resonate at all um, you can always choose a different pile or check out one of the other readings that I do have available in the playlist so let's take a look pile number three we have forgive yourself and those who have hurt you let the tears cleanse you okay so this to me is a message about a need for release okay release healing uh, we also have the Orca. We also have Guardian. And I do want to pull one more, actually, of these for you guys. I should have pulled two, but let's get one more for you, pile number three. What is your advice, your guidance on your love life at this time? Pile three's advice and guidance on the love life. We have open your heart and it says stay open to possibilities. It is safe to be vulnerable and trust. Okay. It is safe to be vulnerable and to trust. Okay. Underneath the deck, I'm seeing wash away the pain of the past as you offer forgiveness and a fresh start. Okay. So this can also be for those of you that are really kind of holding on to things from the past. Like if you've been really hurt, if you've gone through any specific type of trauma, when it comes to love, relationships, things that you're needing to heal. To me, also looking at this guardian card, it kind of gives me this feeling that I feel like your, your spirit guides are wanting you to know that they are they're surrounding you with their, with their love and their support. Regardless of where you're at with your love life, that they are there for you know, assistance to help you in your healing journey or to give you the guidance that you're really looking for when it does come to your love life, right? We're seeing how all these little owl guardians are kind of surrounding this little creature here. So yeah, to me, it's like in a way spirit saying here that we're protecting you, right? We're helping you to maybe it is healing, forgiveness, releasing, right? Things from the past. Um, Right. It could be that we are someone who's holding on to a lot of pain, a lot of sadness. Um, yeah. Let the tears cleanse you is really what spirit is saying here as far as your guidance and your advice. OK, so let's look at the tarot and then we're going to get into the message of the Orca. So pile number three, what is your guidance advice on your love life? At this time. So like I said, you guys are all going to be in very different situations. So take it how it applies to you. Okay. If it fits, it fits. If it doesn't, no worries. You can choose a different pile or check out another reading. 
So pile three, what is your advice, your guidance on your love life? At this time for pile three, we have the two of cups. What is pile two, or I'm sorry, pile three's advice, guidance on their love life? Six of cups. We also have the Empress. And then we, oh wow, we have the lovers here as well. Okay. Lovers. Bottom of the deck, we have the Magician. Okay. So the Magician energy is about willpower. Okay. Willpower. Um, and maybe this is something that you are manifesting within yourself. But I am seeing there's healing that's happening here. I'm seeing the star right underneath that. Um, the lovers, and we also have the two of cups. To me, this is about you being able to kind of, especially with the other cards that are here, talking about healing and about forgiving yourself and those who have hurt you. Let the tears cleanse you. Open your heart. Stay open to possibilities. It is safe for you to be vulnerable and trust. Okay? You do have the Empress here. The Empress is a beautiful energy of unconditional love, nurturing, healing. Uh, so for many of you, it can be really kind of manifesting and embodying the energy of the Empress. I am seeing the influence with the Six of Cups, which is talking about past. Okay? So some of you, it can be that there is past that needs to be healed, uh, past that needs to be released. Uh, some of you can be nurturing those wounds of the inner child. I'm also seeing here too, okay? Uh, the lovers and the two of cups can also about, be about you finding balance and harmony from within yourself. And for you to also be strong enough to have enough willpower within yourself to be able to face those feelings from the past. Because sometimes, you know, things that we go through in our past, they can be so painful that we just suppress them, push them away and figure that we're going to deal with it later okay so yeah it says wash away the pain of the past as you offer forgiveness and a fresh start right that's giving yourself a new start um for others of you it can even literally be that you are working towards manifesting a connection from the past okay because we do have the six of cups energy here it could be that you're manifesting a love that you have for someone um you know, and maybe there is the potential for some of you with the Six of Cups, the Two of Cups, and the Lovers, where this is a potential possibility for you to manifest this love for reconciliation or even renewal with that, okay? But those of you that are single, I feel like this is really learning to love yourself, nurture yourself, um, allow your heart and your soul to really guide you towards finding harmony and union within the self. And sometimes that is going to come from release of things from the past, right? But it shows a lot of our willpower and strength to be able to really work towards nurturing the self, learning, like I said, to love the self, learning our worth and our value, what we are truly deserving of, making peace with our past is another thing that I'm seeing here for you guys as well. We do have Taurus, Libra, Gemini, Scorpio, uh, Cancer energy here. Okay. So let's see here. Why is the Six of Cups here for pile number three? We have the Ace of Swords, which is about clarity. Uh, clarity of the mind. Maybe about certain things from the past. Okay. We have the Star. Okay. So what I'm seeing this as is maybe you are bringing things to the surface from your past, from childhood bringing those things to the surface to be able to heal, okay? Bringing them to the surface to heal. Let's see what the Two of Cups energy is here. We do also have Aquarius. And then we have the Four of Swords. I'm also feeling this energy here where Spirit is wanting you to focus on maybe bringing your mind to a place of stillness, of calm, of balance, of harmony within the self is what I'm also seeing here. Okay. Why is the lovers here? We also have, what is this? The strength card. Okay. The strength card. 
yeah, so to me, that is about you having the courage to be able to kind of balance out your own feelings, your own emotions. There's a lot of healing energy that is kind of coming through this pile. And I feel like a lot of nurturing the self, a lot of healing, a lot of you finding balance within yourself. Let's see why the Empress is here. We do have Leo energy. Why is the Empress here? And then we have the Ten of Wands. Yeah, so the Ten of Wands energy could be when we're really holding on to a lot of... I feel like a lot of things, baggage from the past. Okay? A lot of our baggage from the past. And... I feel like spirit is wanting you to kind of really look back at these things, at these memories, at these things that you're still holding on to, to be able to kind of release them. Okay. That's kind of the theme that I'm kind of getting here is, is release. Okay. Washing away the pain and then letting the tears cleanse you. So there is that need for that emotional release. And if it is difficult, right, because a lot of these things could be very challenging if they're from past connections, past relationships, or even you know, certain childhood things that you've gone through. Like I said, sometimes bringing those things to the surface can be very painful, right? But this is a allowing you to kind of bring those things to the surface, allow yourself to feel them so that you can heal them and release them, okay? But yeah, that 10 of Wands to me is, is about carrying a lot of that burden, the heaviness that Spirit is wanting you to be able to release or let go of, regardless if it's something that you're currently dealing with or something that you've dealt with in the past, it's having the courage to face those feelings and those emotions, okay? So let's look at your Orca here and see what message the Orca has for and how you can kind of apply that to your love life. So let's see, where is the Orca? The Orca. Where is it? Okay, here we go. Look at that. You are protected by your ancestors as you travel about and leave all that is familiar behind. It says orcas live together in pods and are very protective of their families. They travel long distances and lead very adventurous lives swimming far across the oceans. Orca is here to remind you that your ancestors are connected to you from the spiritual realms. Although you may not see them, there is no separation. Feel their energies and know that you are protected as you travel through life. Leave behind all that is familiar and comfortable as you explore new territories. You have the strength and protection of your loved ones behind you. Even if your family relationships are strained in real life, know that they are forged from love. The sacredness of familial bonds will hold strong even in times of stress. You originate from ancestors who care about you and will always protect you from the other side know that you were always supported. Okay. And that's kind of what I was getting from your little guardian card here is that even though you could be, you know, having, and I'm noticing there's a little, the little infinity sign here. And then the infinity sign there that's in the strength card is this release here. It's almost like your spirit guides are letting you know that through this time where you are, in, you know, and you're at in your love life, is that even though you've experienced pain and heartache in the past, be open, right? Stay open to possibilities. It is safe for you to be vulnerable and trust that you will meet and connect with the love that you're truly meant to have and experience within this lifetime, right? The, the Empress being here is that symbol of unconditional love. And maybe this comes from really working towards nurturing yourself, right? Forgiving and healing the past so that you can change and shift into more of an energy of uh, openness and receptivity, right? But being having the courage to be able to face those more difficult emotions and feelings from past situations that you've gone through, even back from childhood, right? And knowing that you have the support of your ancestors, your guardians, to be able to help you through that process. Okay? So I'm going to leave it here for you. Pile number three. I hope this was helpful for you guys, and I will see you in the next reading.